Hi food day lovers, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to just take out some different hair types and swatch them just to give different ideas of different bristle types and how they may perform on the eyes. Now keep in mind the way something swatches on my arm isn't going to be identical to the way that it swatches on the eyes as I'm sure you're all aware but I just thought it would be something fun and something different. So I took out my Natasha Denona mini glam palette. I really love this palette. I thought it would be a really good um, palette to use because it's one of my favorites. So just to get started. So first I have this Hakuhodo and this is the G5505 and this is all horse and I have showed this on my channel before and it's really soft for horse but I really like the way horse performs whenever picking up shimmers so I'm going to do about three passes for each just to make it a fair comparison so here's the horse And as you can see, it definitely performs very well. I hope you guys are able to see that. And then we have, I also wanted to take out the Hakuhodo B242HS. So this is actually horse and synthetic mix. So I was curious to see if this would be any different now, granted, the size is going to be different. So this is going to be more direct than this. So not only does it have a different bristle mix, and actually this is how it picks up. And I meant to show that on the other one. Let me grab it again. Hold on one moment. Let's see. And this is how that one picks up. So just to compare... And they both look to pick up about the same amount of product. So even though this one's mixed with synthetic, they still both apply or pick up about the same. This one's more targeted, so it does look like it picked up slightly more than the um, G5505. But let's take a look at this one. Yeah, so... This one is more direct. So it does look like it did pick up more. This one has that really nice glimmer effect, whereas this one really shows the pigment color more. So that goes to show with different sizes, you're gonna get a different effect. And then next here, I have the Hakuhodo J242. So this is all goat, and as I've showed on my channel before, it's the goat version of the 242 HS. So they're the same exact size. Curious to see how this is gonna compare. This is how much product it picked up. Picks up quite a bit, so goat really does pick up a lot of product. see so these three are pretty comparable I would say yeah the goat the goat may have picked up just a little bit more yeah especially to the naked eye if I look at it yeah that's interesting so they perform very similarly, those three right there. And this is my Takeda SH6 European Dressed White Pine Squirrel. Now this brush, I've talked so highly on my channel about this brush. I love this brush. 
I'm not entirely sure how well it's gonna swatch on my wrist, but on my eyes, this applies shadow so nice. And just to compare it to the 242 for size, it is a little bit longer, but it also has more movement to the bristles. And that's why I was really shocked it applied shadow so well, shimmer so well, because it has good movement. I didn't think it would be so targeted, but it really applies nicely. So I'm curious to see how it compares to the others. And this is how much product it picked up. And here it is compared. Oh yeah, you can really see how well that white pine squirrel picks up and you hear squirrel and you really don't think that it would pick up much but look at it it really applies it very pigment really pigmented um wow and it does the same thing on my eyes like i just love the way this brush applies shimmers if you're looking for a good packer brush and you have sensitive eyes this one is amazing and honestly it really just proves it right there well that is really neat especially seeing it next to horse and goat and then this one is the Hakahodo I believe it was previously G5523 but it's the blue squirrel all blue squirrel Version. They now make it with synthetic. Mine is the all natural blue squirrel version. Normally, I actually have never used this to pack shimmer on the lids before, but it was the only blue squirrel brush I had that I even considered maybe trying in this video with shimmers. So I guess we'll give it a go. And obviously, it's not going to apply as well as these. Horse and goat typically apply really shimmers really really well blue squirrel is probably going to be the least pigmented i would say yeah probably the least pigmented out of all the brushes in this video so let's see and here's how much it picked up and it actually picked up quite a bit normally with blue squirrel the benefit is you'll notice it really just picks up a lot of the shimmer and it's probably going to apply less of the base color and if you want that glimmering look where you're only wanting just a little twinkle on the eyes this will definitely do that for you and here it is wow it actually applied better than I thought it would interesting but to the naked eye yeah it definitely picked up more of the glitter it's not showing that well on camera to how I'm seeing it now but yeah definitely from this angle you can see how it almost looks like it skips a bit it's just not as nice as the goat horse and white pine squirrel as far as pigmentation goes but if you're looking for just a little bit of glimmer that's definitely what it's going to do for you which is nice it all depends on the look that you're going for and then here i've showed this one on my channel this is honestly one of my favorite packing brushes in my entire collection it's my bestiodo bes06 it's kalinsky and what I love about it is it has really nice movement. So when I pack shimmer on, I can even go into the crease a little bit, blend it into my matte shade really nicely because it has that really gorgeous movement to it. So this one I'm definitely excited to try. Now Kalinsky, as you've probably heard, gives you the most impact typically. It's as closest to your finger swatch as you'll get out of all these bristles. And you can see how much it picks up. And I feel like, wow, it actually 
see this is what I mean like I'm actually gonna go in again I know I'm cheating but I don't think I picked up enough because typically oh yeah there we go yep and again I know I cheated because <laughs> I went in for another swatch but I wanted you guys to really see the true impact Kalinsky gives see how there's no skippage now it's hard because I guess oh yeah here we go I can actually stand over here on the side and see how there's less skipping with the Kalinsky it's very smooth versus the blue squirrel where you do get a little bit of skipping yeah Kalinsky is amazing and honestly this brush it's great that it is still available for people to purchase because it's such a good one. I know people were really disappointed by that um, Koyudo one on CD Japan recently, or at least some people were disappointed that I know of um, because it was really flat and stiff and it just wasn't soft like this one is. This one's nice and soft. And look, there's even still product on. Every time I use this brush, I'm just so satisfied by the way it applies my shimmers. I'd say out of this whole video, my Takeda and this Bisyota one are my top faves for sure. They just never disappoint. And then I also wanted to get out a dyed goat brush. So this is the Sonia G Builder Pro and it's dyed Saikoho goat. And of course, this is a lot thicker than the goat, but... So it's not as fair of a comparison. Of course, the thicker the brush is, the more impact you're gonna get. And with dyed bristles, they normally pick up a lot of product because they've got more body and texture to the bristles. And you can see, look how much it picked up. So the thicker the brush, the more it's gonna pick up. Let's put a frame here. Oh yeah, you can really see the dyed Saikoho goat. That really picked up a lot of pigment. And honestly, like it was probably one of my favorite Packer brushes when, brushes when I first got into Fude. I just love the Builder Pro. And it's called the Builder for a reason because look at that impact. Honestly, most of these brushes, they're very similar but yeah the squirrel one definitely has that skipping and not so much skipping on the eye though it'll just give you that glimmer effect the way we swatch on an arm obviously isn't how we're gonna apply it to the lid so that's always something to keep in mind and then i have this brush which is newer to me this is the Syrah classic shadow brush moyen and this is Canadian Squirrel. So typically Canadian Squirrel does a really beautiful job at picking up pigments as well. It's definitely one of the stronger brushes when it comes to Squirrel. And I did use this recently and I loved the way it applied my shimmers. Here's how much it picked up. It picks up quite a bit. All right, here it is here. And yeah, it definitely, I don't see any skipping with the Canadian squirrel. So, that's another benefit to Canadian Squirrel and why it can be so expensive is it really does a wonderful job at dispersing product and just making it look so even. Like it's actually, I'd say really similar to the Kalinsky. Wow. This one. Yeah. Honestly, all these brushes are doing a beautiful job. <laughs> like, I'd be happy picking up any one of these and using it on my lid with shimmer. And I know this is another Kalinsky brush, so this is my Takeda WF10. But it is thicker 
than the Bisciotto. So, not by much, but it is thicker. So I just wanted to see, and it is a little bit more narrow. So keeping that in mind, I just wanna see if it looks any different. One, two, three, four, five, six. six. Okay, so this one right here is the one I'm gonna compare it to. Oh yeah, I can actually feel the impact when I dipped it into the pan. Look how much product it picked up. That picked up way more than the Bisciotto. So if you like high impact, this brush is definitely nice for that. All right, and then we'll put it here. Oh, definitely. Look how much more the Takeda picked up. As I'm swatching here, getting more difficult. <laughs> but yeah, you can really see the true tone of the bronze this this one right here the Takeda it's definitely the darkest out of all the swatches so this one is definitely going to give the most impact on the lids and that goes to show like even with um one two three four five six so this is the Bisciotto even with them both being Kalinsky depends on how thick the brush is and how much hair is packed in and the shape on the application. Even though they're the same exact bristle type, you're gonna get a different effect depending upon just how dense the brush is. And that's why actually this is another one that is an absolute favorite in this entire video. I love the WF-10, it's a beautiful brush. It never lets me down, that's for sure. And then I wanted to bring out the Koyudo Red Squirrel. So this was the Year of the Rabbit limited edition release, but I wanted to bring it out just because I wanted to show you guys Red Squirrel compared with the Blue Squirrel. This is probably going to apply a lot similarly to the Hakahoto Blue Squirrel where it's going to give us most of the shimmer versus the base color. And here's how much it picked up. Yeah, you can really see, even in the bristles here, it's just most of the glitter. But it still picks up pretty nice. Yep, just as I thought. If you're able to see, and I'm hoping you guys can, but it's still swatched very nicely, but it gives more of that shimmer versus the base. You can see it next to the Kalinske, Takeda Kalinske. This gives us the full bronze look, and then this gives us most of the glimmer and the glitter, shimmer, should I say, in the shadow. And then one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the Blue Squirrel Hakuhodo compared with the Red Squirrel. So, I would actually say the Red Squirrel did pick up a little bit more of the base color than the Blue Squirrel, but not by much. So that's interesting. And then last but not least, I have the Chickahodo FO6. So this is Silver Fox. And let's see, here it is next to the Goat Brush. Just for size comparisons, again, this is the Hakuhodo J242. They actually look very similar in size. And I really prefer small packer brushes typically because I, as I mentioned before, I do have smaller lids. So like these three brushes right here, including this one, I really love them because they're really targeted. And it's got that really nice taper so, ooh, the fox picks up a lot. Look how much the fox picks up, wow. That picked up a ton of pigment. Wow, yeah, the fox picks up a lot. Look at that. I would compare it close enough to the Kalinsky. I think this was the Kalinsky here. Yep. 
This is the Takeda Kalinske, and here's the Silver Fox. But there's something about the Kalinske where as you get further down on the swatch, it's still very pigmented where the Silver Fox, just a little bit skip, not much, but a little. But it's very close, wow. I wasn't expecting it to be as close to the Kalinske one. My Takeda. That's really neat. Oh, and I have one other brush. So I found this when I was doing this video. And I, when you have so many brushes, sometimes you honestly forget what you have, <laughs> which is horrible. Like it got lost in my little eye brush collection over there. This is the Hakuhodo J246HS. So this is horse and synthetic mix. And I love the size on this one. This one's even more targeted than the 242. Look how little it is. It's just like the smaller version of the 242. And I'm like, oh my gosh, why haven't I been using this? I love this brush and it kind of got lost in the mix there. But I want to compare it just to see if the horse synthetic mix is any different than regular horse. And here it is. Wow, that picks up a ton of pigment. That really does. All right, let's see here. So here it is. And so let's see, so one and two are horse and then this last one so you can see how much more the 246 hs applied more than likely because it's more targeted i don't think so much it's the bristle type it could be it very well could be because it's mixed with synthetic but i do also think because it is more targeted that could be another reason but very interesting you know when it's on the eyes and you're just using different brushes from time to time um yeah it's just interesting to see them actually compared swatch next to each other but yeah i hope this video was helpful for you guys and i know it was something a little different i hope it helps if you're looking at different bristle types you're not sure of what really interests you the most you know, I would say if you want, if you're somebody that likes just a quick glimmer effect, definitely go for blue squirrel, um, gray squirrel, red squirrel. If you're wanting more of an impact and let's say you don't want to spend Kalinske pricing, I would definitely go with horse. If you don't have sensitive eyes, I would go for the horse. Packer brushes from Hakuhodo, those are amazing. Um, because they really do give a similar effect to Kalinske. Nearly identical, honestly. Like, these two are, like, so similar. Um, but you're not having to pay that Kalinske pricing. That's what I would say. Now, if you're wanting to go a little bit more luxurious, definitely go with Kalinske because you will not be disappointed. Kalinske is just amazing. It gives you that high impact without any skipping. You don't have to go in too many times. The Bisciotto, I did notice I had to go in again because, again, it's not as thick as the Takeda. And it's not... But it's funny because when I used it on my eyes the other day, I didn't have to go in too many times. So I guess, as always, the effect can be different on the eyes too. So, And then, you know, let's say you have not sensitive eyes, but you find horse to be scratchy, then of course go with goat. Can't go wrong with goat. But in my opinion, Hakuhodo's horse bristles, they're really not scratchy on the eyes. I know I've said this a thousand times. Like this G5505 Hakuhodo brush, you can actually even use this on the lower lash line. Oh, look, there's still pigment on there. That goes to show how much 
pigment these brushes hold on to. So that's another thing. I did a quick pass, you know, but when you're packing it on your lid, you can see how evenly it distributes. I love this brush. I really do. I And it's so versatile because it is thicker and it's got the diamond taper that I've even used it on my lower lash line, pack shimmers on the lid, and then you can even blend into the crease because it's got that really nice movement. I love this one. I would almost consider getting a backup, but I just have so many brushes, I'm trying not to get backups anymore. So, and then it is sad that Hakuhodo is discontinuing their, some of their all blue squirrel brushes and we're seeing them being mixed with synthetic. Like it really is such a shame because they're so soft and they're really beautiful. Although I do know their synthetic mixes, it's really not a lot. It's very minimal. Again, mine is the all natural version. So it was sad to see this brush being discontinued, but I'm sure the synthetic version, it's probably not a massive difference. Um, and then of course the Fox, I mean the Fox applied it really nice. I actually couldn't get over how nice the Fox applied. So honestly, all of these brushes are just wonderful. And of course, Canadian Squirrel, can't go wrong with Canadian Squirrel, and Canadian Squirrel is the best option for somebody with sensitive eyes. If you want high impact, but you have sensitive lids, you don't really wanna get Kalinsky, you don't wanna get Goat, absolutely get Canadian Squirrel. And this Syrup brush is really nice. It's got a really nice shape, and it really does apply very nicely. So definitely options on this wonderful food day market we have of ours. We've got hundreds of thousands of <laughs> different brushes to choose from. So there's a brush out there for everyone. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, it was something a little different. My first time doing swatches. So I hope you guys are able to see it. But um, of course, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Um, what are your favorite packer brushes? What do you guys enjoy using the most? I'm definitely curious to hear about it. And subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.